right, so uh, updating the software and maps in a Jeep Grand Cherokee 2018. They send me a kit with a USB for software. It has to be updated first. And that apparently took, it's clocked in at uh, over 34 minutes when I first started it. You just plug it straight into the USB port here and a message will come up saying update it. And uh, that's what we're doing now. And that's pretty straightforward. Um, the next part will be the map software. And this is 2022, even though I just bought it, that's 2023. I don't, I guess that's the current version or gonna be a little bit behind. Of course, I'm five, four years behind. I have never updated this yet. So it comes with another USB thumb drive here and the instruction manual. Some people might get multiple versions of software that they have to upgrade to. So you'd have to do them one at a time and be prepared to sit a while because 30 minutes plus for each update. Uh, the book pretty much runs through what you gotta do. The software update's easy. The next one, you have to activate it and it gives you kind of instructions in the booklet here, which I'll run through as I do it, I guess. I picked it up, it was on sale, maybe because it was 2022 and it's the end of that bunch and before they released 2023. So I was like 50 bucks off. It's crazy that you have to pay so much money for maps. Looks pretty complex. You can activation code online, so you need to have a smartphone with you when you do this, or go run and use your computer. But uh, be prepared to wait. It's gonna take me at least an hour. I wasn't prepared for that. I just thought it'd be something quick. So I'm probably just going to do the, the software update now and then return to do the map update at a later time because I don't think I have the time I need to do it. It's weird that they send you this. I tried to get it before, tried to get the download option, but for some reason it said out of stock. I don't know how a download option could be out of stock, but it was. So they send me this and the software. Right, stay tuned for the yeah, next update for the maps. All right, so once you're done, um, it'll tell you that what version you're on and what version it's on the USB stick, and it'll say you're done if it goes successful. And here's the updated menu, it looks a little different. Um, uh, what I didn't mention was you have to order this, and when you order it, you go to the Uconnect website. I think it's uconnect.com or something similar. And you'll put in your, your VIN number and make and model of your vehicle and uh, they'll guide you to the right one that you need. And you have to get the system software version that you need, which you get by you get by going into dealer mode and I always forget this, see driver's side temp up. So the temperature up key. Hold the driver's side temp up and temp down and front defrost button. So you need two hands to do this maybe, there you go. Front defrost, up and down, temperature buttons. Let's see if we can do all three at once. Oops, nope, didn't work. I gotta hold it for 10 seconds, my bad. And it's not working except my temperature's going up. There we go. I don't want the temperature going up, it's like 100 degrees out. So, hold that down. There we go.
All right. System information. Radio part information. And there's our software version number. Now we're going to take our map, USB stick, software is already done, make sure the software is updated first, and we're going to stick it in number one. After a few minutes, we should see a message. Map update, here we go. You will need an activation key that was provided with your map update to order. All right, so I gotta find that. All right, so any instructions, it says ignore this because we don't have it yet, so Press the activation code. And now we're gonna request one. All right, so, so it says take a picture of this and turn the car off and go to a website to request a code. I have to go there to register. All right, I think I'm good now. Um, Activated it online. No doubt everything was kind of cumbersome. That's okay. During the update, vehicle must be on. And then I'll get a new map. Great. 106 out. Whew. Yeah, this might take a bit more. It's going quicker than the software update. Yeah, it's a bit slow going. Um, I still find it weird that, you know, it's August of 2023 and they only have the 2022 maps, but so it is what it is. I'm sure the map is still going to be outdated. I figured it was time to bite the bullet and, uh, and buy this because we did a lot of off-roading according to the map. We were just driving through things that apparently didn't exist. Uh, we took some wrong turns, so at least I'll get it somewhat current. Well, almost done. I'm not sure why it's reading 106 out. It's not 106. It's 91 now. It was 93 when I started. So, I thought maybe my garage was super hot. I pulled out into the shade and it still says 106. I hope it's not a software issue. Hopefully, when it reboots, it recalibrates somehow. All right, remove my USB drive. Okay. Well, the maps have been done, so that's how you do that. I'm not sure why this is still reading 106 out, so I'm gonna shut the car off for a while and uh, see what happens. Hopefully, uh, the number will change, otherwise, I got a problem. I'll update if it's a problem. Uh, I just went to. Oops. I just went to uh, about. And I just noticed the license. It's under GNU <laughs> licenses. I thought that was pretty funny. So, yay Linux. Alright. I'm not happy about the whole process though. It's a little cumbersome and having to leave the car on for an hour or so. While it's uh, updating, probably isn't the best thing for 
the environment. But you know, it went smooth. It just took a while and it was a bit cumbersome to go through. Typing it all up in my phone and then registering it. But, worked smooth, worked good. All right, that's all for now. So, uh, I let the car sit for a while, off, and turned it back on, and the temperature reads correct now. So I don't know, I don't know what that was about, but all good.